It was here at Rainbow Haven Provincial Park that Ellie of the North made the discovery. But at first, the avid snorkeler had no idea she'd found something special. I swam by something that just looked like a rotten leaf. It was only on her third pass that she realized it was alive. Just started yelling, there's a sea slug here, there's a sea slug, and people were so excited. What she found that day was eastern emerald alicia. It looks like a regular black garden slug. That is, until it unfurls emerald green flaps on its back that look just like a leaf. The sea slug steals the photosynthesizing organs of the algae it eats, keeps them alive in its body, and uses them to get energy from the sun. It's like if I ate a whole bunch of spinach and then I just woke up this morning and I just sunbathed for an hour and then I wouldn't need to eat for the rest of the week. Um, these slugs are essentially doing the same thing. Of the North and Stevens have returned on this chilly November day to see if they can find them again. Since sharing the find on social media, Stevens has been contacted by researchers from both the east and west coast of the U.S. The sea slugs are sought after by researchers. Scientists say unlocking its mysteries could advance research on cancer, inflammatory conditions, and neurodegenerative diseases. But the sea slugs have been so hard to find over the past 20 years that they've been difficult to study. It's very exciting because um, for so long it just seemed like nobody had seen them and that it was, it was such a shot in the dark, it wasn't even worth going to look. Now that a population has been found here, some researchers are exploring ways to obtain samples. Stevens notes that the sea slugs were found in a provincial park. It shows how important these protected areas are um, to the biodiversity of Nova Scotia, um, as long as they remain protected. Francis Willick, CBC News, Dartmouth.